world's still there. Day seven of the uh, coronavirus stay at home, stay in place quarantine stuff. Um, you know, very warranted, but uh, does mean I've had to stop working a little bit. And that means more time for hobbies. Uh, also, <clears throat> the army has pretty much abandoned me at this point. Not really, but seriously, they did cancel drill. Uh, and so my Coast Guard ways are slowly returning. The beard is back. And means I can have a beer in the middle of the day while in uniform. Because <laughs> the seagoing services don't not alcohol. <laughs> Well, hello, it's James here, and this is, I believe, the last of the videos that were made with the previous channel about the rally car explaining the rally car build. This particular video, um, it's going to hit a little close, kind of like the first one. Um, so, I don't know. Probably won't affect you as much as it did me to rewatch it, but just consider that. Uh, what we're doing here basically though is just putting some random stuff, not random, we're putting some stuff in the car that needs to be there, little items, securing them, stuff like that. Um, also talking a little bit about what's going on in the world at that time. Mind you, this is several months ago. Um, this should have been somewhere around the end of March. So... Yeah, here we go. I don't know. We'll get to that when we get to it. I don't care about that right now. Uh, there's a lot of rally car to build and a lot of beer to drink. So we are instead going to be working on this some more. And I'm very excited about that. Um, anyways, if you have been supporting us. Nope, just sad stuff here. So, so uh, lots going on here. Not with again no what we've been doing are a bunch of little things really um and so i've got some more little things to do here uh triangles yeah, a bunch of little stuff uh a whole bunch more coming also gonna finally be able to finish the garage here soon uh getting the motorcycles out uh yeah spending lots of time with the kids and kathy lots Lots going on, just it's not as productive as normal, and I'm finally starting to like that. Okay, uh, what we have going on here. So, we have put these bumpers on here, right? Basically, if you're bumping around and your head goes boo, 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 over a jump, uh, and somehow, you know, I don't know, things like collapse on you or something, this is supposed to somehow save you. Either way, uh, SFI 45.1, they've got some stickiness on the back, uh, and then we threw some zip ties on here just for good measure to make sure they don't just like pop off. Uh, plus, zip ties look freaking awesome. I don't know, I just like zip ties. So basically, in front of the main hoop, which is that big bar going around there, uh, we have to have this stuff in the roof line. So we've got it on the front, right over each driver. And then we just threw a little bit on the sides there because we had some extra. That seemed like a place the helmet could hit. So we did that. Uh, I'm gonna make a whole separate video about this, but this is the uh, first aid kit that I made. So you're supposed to have a quote, comprehensive first aid kit. I don't know what that means. They don't say what comprehensive is, but we'll go through it. I, I think this will do. Ugh. Still need to take the struts off because they're completely blown out and that's just adding weight at this point. Uh, we've got mud flaps to put on. Uh, still need to do that. And then this guy, just a uh, tow rope. Well, it's a tow strap. It does say tow rope in the rules and I'm using a tow strap. I cannot see any way that that would be a problem, but hey, I'll tell you what, there's one. If you know the detailed intricacies, 
of American Rally Association rules and findings on tow ropes, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't, you can still make them up and give us just completely fake reference and it'll be amusing, probably confuse me for a while. Beer, 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 beer. Ah, there it is, a trash can. Um, I think they're out of like Missoula or something here. Let's see, yep, Missoula, Montana. This is the uh, Trout Slayer Wheat Pell Ale. Uh, no, they're not advertising, and I don't know, I, I don't see why you can't talk about alcohol on YouTube. I don't know, none of these things are intended for kids. Um, hey, uh, Big Sky Brewing Company, if you do want to throw a sponsorship on a rally car, let me know. It'd be pretty sweet content for you. Um, or if you just want to send me a bunch of beer, or not, I don't care. So, the rules state that... Uh, we have to have one of these triangles accessible from the uh, driver or passenger. Um, and then the other ones can just kind of be wherever. Uh, so I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a bag in the back out of some uh, jump bags I have from the military. Think of it kind of like a trunk, uh, but we're going to have all of our like emergency equipment and stuff in there. Uh, to include that toe strap, um, toolkits, which aren't required, but I mean, it's a really good idea. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, we also have to have a spill kit, which we'll get into at some other point. That'll go in that bag. So maybe we'll find a way to secure that bag in here today as well. Can't reach it. I don't know. That's it. There we go. Uh, what do we have here? Just in case, ground based triangle. Uh, so it has to be a 12 inch triangle, right? These are on that, on that size. See? So that keeps from tipping that way. That keeps from tipping that way. Pretty neat. And they're weighted. So if there's wind or anything, you should be okay. Um, oh yeah, we have our bungee cords. Duh, I'm trying to think of like, how am I going to get these things off? I think I'm going to take this thing and bungee cord it down here. Ooh, this is actually maybe even a better place, right right here. Just, again, bungee cord it right in. And then uh, we'll get our little emergency hammer and bungee cord that somewhere around here, too. Bungee cords. They're not sealed for freshness. What the heck? Come on, Walmart. What are you doing? Also, not sponsoring this, but if Walmart would like to, I know you're hiring tons and tons of new people to... Uh, cover all this COVID stuff. So, you know, maybe you also want to sponsor a very small independent rally team out of Montana that would do absolutely nothing for you for advertising, but uh, you could still give us money and I'd put a sticker on the car. That'd be really neat of you. Um, you know, a few months ago, I told you that the production value on these videos would be going up. I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon, especially here, because I'm not even, I mean, we were going to set up like a studio and everything. We're going to talk about all the animals and it's going to be fun. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of rally car content now, and maybe a few, uh, updates. This might just turn into an automotive channel. Foreshadowing? <laughs> a little bit? Yep. We don't know. Uh, if so, Donut Media, if you're listening, come on, do a bumper to bumper on a, uh, hand-built-ish, weird little Fiesta rally car out of Montana. Um, if nothing else, so that I can have an excuse to go down to L.A. and visit my friends. That'd be nice of you. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's that's in there pretty well. I mean, it, you know, it can jiggle around a little bit, but I don't think that's really going anywhere. Um, and it would be really easy for us to get out if there were an issue. Uh, so, in case you're wondering what the uh, little triangles are for... Oh, Video was upside down. In case you're wondering what the little triangles are for, uh, you know, they're emergency um, road beacons, right? What are they calling these things? Ground-based triangle. Okay, they're not calling them anything. Uh, this is our next little thing here. Auto emergency escape hammer. It's a little description on the back, so that's what I'm going to read to you. Uh, it has two things that are important. So, for right now, we are retaining the stock glass windows. And that means that uh, we have to have a way to get out of the car if the window, or sorry, if the door is closed. Uh, so if we replace this with uh, plastic windows, basically they push out. These don't push out, and so we have to have 
a way to break the glass. Um, on top of that, we're required to have seatbelt cutters uh, available nearby so that if we're trapped and we can't get the uh, seats to unlatch, we can just cut right through the, uh, the fabric here. And so this nylon is, is kind of tricky to cut through, especially if you don't have really strong scissors on you. But these things um, will just slice right through it. Uh, they're, they come really, really sharp. It's basically just a razor blade in there. And uh, yeah, it'll get you out. These things are proving pretty difficult to attach. I, uh, I wish that they had a little, little handle thing or something on them to where I could put a tether. Uh, and this is like the only thing for the uh, bungee to really fit into. And it has a freaking razor blade in it. So that's not working. Okay, new idea. Uh, I've got some little pouches, uh, military surplus pouches. I'm going to see if any of those will fit one of these. And then I can just secure the pouch there and it'll open up by Velcro. Okay, come here, pouchy, pouchy, pouchy. Where you at? These medical ones. Heck, this one has a couple tourniquets in it. Okay, so this is a grenade pouch. Um, I think a grenade pouch could work well. Let's see. It's just a bit too much. I can't. I can't quite get this thing. I mean, if this was a quarter inch shorter, we'd be we'd be in business. Man, I'm gonna say that this this might just work. This is great. Oh, there we are. Okay, so I've got this uh, medical drop kit bag, and if the if you've got it sideways, so this is what should be going up to your hip, right? And this would go around your leg right here. And I've got it around the bars and these two right here. Now it is, even from seeing all the way back, I can easily pull this, reach in, and get it out. So that is excellent. On top of holding that little tool, um, it also provides a nice place for just some basic storage for the passenger. Um, you know, a little difficult to use maybe while you're just here driving, but they could actually have some stuff in there if they so wanted. Uh, and then I think, I think I'm gonna put one of these drop kits if I have another one somewhere, which I should. I think I'm gonna put that also on the driver's side as another little storage area. I mean, if nothing else, your cell phone, you know, while driving and stuff like that, like it's, it's just a nice little place. Right now I have to put things like between my legs and uh, just kind of like into little crevices in the car. It's not, not a very good setup. Good stop. Now, a lot of people probably wouldn't know that this is for a uh, uh, for an actual stomp kit. Uh, so it's, it is part of, was part of an actual military medical kit, um, but it doesn't really look like that to most people. So I'm gonna get a patch on here, uh, a little uh, Swiss cross. So it looks like it is medical. Um, and we're going to use this red one, uh, so it's easy to see, easy to find, and people associate red with blood and medical. So I think it should work out. Okay, so there we go. Uh, it's just wrapped with the uh, bungee cord, and so if we grab onto this and pull hard enough, it will just come right out. The bungee cord will just snap down into place, uh, so really easy to get that out. Uh, and it's out of the way, which is nice. I don't know. I guess that's all I have for right now. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe in all this, uh, social distancing and all. Um, you know, please make sure you're staying safe. Uh, I, I hope that anyone out there that's losing their job or uh, losing their business uh, or anything like that is able to stay just keep your head level. There's there's a lot of a lot of bull crap going on right now, and it's it's a little bit hard to uh, to keep up with it. I know we're definitely feeling it a lot, like a lot. Um, so hey, if you want to help support, well, who knew it would take a little bit more than a week for everything to get not much better. So. Everyone knows what's going on in the world right now. 2020 sucks. Boo-hoo. Um, 
Yeah. So this is about the time that my mind started getting a little bit dark and a lot of new problems started to arise, which I will, I'll get to that in its own whole video at some point. Um, this is just the beginning of the, the pain and kind of a really bad time that has been the last several months um, with the business and personal life and military and everything. So, um, yeah. However, hopefully you enjoyed that video. <clears throat> Woo! <clears throat> However, hopefully you enjoyed that video. And since we've gotten to part seven, that means dun, 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 you get. And since we've gotten to part seven, that means dun, 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 you are going to get more actual brand new rally car content kind of soon. Um, still have to get back <laughs> to Montana and then start actually working on the thing. But as of right now, the rally car build is it's this far along. That's where we stopped. Um, right after this, I got shipped out for the uh, response with the National Guard and then got sent to my current training here in minimum security penitentiary Fort Lee. So there's not a whole lot more to report. Uh, I may come up with a little compilation video at some point of some extra uh, B-roll and stuff that I have of the rally car from different videos, put that all together but it'll just be some fun, basically. Um, please like, share, comment down below, hit that notification bell, and as always, stay safe, drive safe, and be happy. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to go to dadbod.marketing for all of your free business and marketing advice. Please like, share, and subscribe if you got something out of this video. And don't forget to check out our other videos right here.